It costs 500 gold to go here, but it is worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stardew Valley. We have 37,000 gold. I know exactly what I'm doing today. It's going to be cloudy and windy. Uh, spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Hell, okay. Let's check our mail. Uh, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Oh, rhubarb pie. Okay. Oh, what else? I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spring uh, Spirit Eve Festival. Caroline. Okay. Um, we can do that quite easily. First of all, let us check our animals because they need attending to. We have a goat's cheese. Fantastic. I don't think I need that for anything. No, because that would be for the artisan bundle, so that is fine. Uh, I can sell that because that is needed for completion. Okay, first of all, let's go around and pet everyone. There we go. So if we try and milk our goats, it says, it, well, it just won't let us. Um, like I said, they, they can only produce milk every other day. Okay, we'll pop the two large milks in there. And, oh, put our pail back, of course. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm trying to milk the chest. That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I want to put that back. Thank you. There we go. All right, now let's let the, uh, the barn animals out. There you go, guys. We're breaking free. Music, uh, high school musical there for you. All right, let's, that's enough of that, Dale. Okay. Uh, get our mayonnaise in there. Lovely jubbly. Chickens, you be free as well. All right, animals are all happy, which is good. And let's sell all of these. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so we've got our extra crops growing. Um, we made a lot of money from pumpkins, and we didn't even like sell hardly any of them. Uh, speaking of pumpkins, we need to give Caroline a pumpkin. Um, who else can we give gifts to? Let's take a look. Pam, we don't need to. Uh, Marnie needs a gift. Um, I don't really have anything for her. Abigail, no. Demetrius can have one. Um, Jody needs one, but I don't really have anything for her. So at the minute, it's it's going to be Caroline, Demetrius, Jody. Um, Elliot, I need something for, but that's not really going to plan. Sebastian as well. Okay, let's just let's just work on a few at a time. Uh, Demetrius, you know, give one to. I don't think we can give one to Lewis. Harvey as well. Uh, Linus. Um, who else did we mention? Oh yeah, the the pumpkin for what's a majig. <laughs> uh, and Jody, I don't have anything for Jody. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Let's do a small bit of gifting because it's. Oh, we've got some oak resin there. Um, it is early in the morning, so uh, we'll, we'll probably not be able to find anyone. Let's grab that hazelnut as well, actually. So something I just found out. Apparently, um, crops or not crops. Oh, an arrowhead. Okay. Um, what, what am I trying to say here? Uh, apparently, non-fruit trees do not grow in the winter, which I thought is a bit bizarre, because fruit trees do, but non-fruit trees do not. Um, what am I waiting for here? I guess we could go up to... Oh, there's Alex. I could have given him something. I guess we could go up to Demetrius, because by the time we get there, his house will open up, um, and then he should still be inside. We can also check to see what else we can... Oh, uh, there is oh, there is something that I want to do today, and oh, I am looking forward to it. Let's actually see if we can find Linus and give him a, a gold yam. I'm I'm pretty certain that I've already gifted him this week though, like twice, so may not be possible, possible, but we will give it a go, a grow, a go. Uh, yeah, okay, I was I was right. Oh well, never mind. Demetrius, come get yo strawberry. Unless we need to give one to Maru, I haven't thought of that. No, we've given her two this week, so that's fine. All right, hello. Hey, have a nice walk. Yeah, I did indeed. There we go. Yeah, it's amazing. While we're here, we may as well give one to Sebastian as well. He's still in bed. Until like 11, I don't know. Okay, that is this household done. I, I need to work on Robin. Um, Robin and Leah. I say this like every episode. Robin and Leah are the people that I need to get gifts for the most. Okay, I should have brought an extra pumpkin with me, really, but... Yeah, whatever. Let's head into the community center, because believe it or not, I've got something on me that we can donate. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, guys. This is happening. <laughs> I've got a grand master plan. I have gold. I have gold on me. The 10,000 gold bundle, I will purchase that. We get a free lightning rod. And the 25,000 gold bundle, we can purchase that as well, and we get a crystallarium. 
Oh boy, and that means the vault is complete. I have never completed the vault before and never got the reward from it either. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Oh, you're so cute, Jun Junimo. So yeah, the vault is complete. They will take that over and it's going to take them too long too, so I'm just going to ignore them. And we'll get our third star. The, the community center here is half finished. Fantastic. Okay, I am going to quickly... Uh, I was going to head to my house, but I guess I will quickly uh, see if Harvey is in so I can give him this uh, this uh, coffee. Because I don't want to keep forgetting him. Uh, hey, Harvey, how's it going? Let's go over here. Just don't mind me and my crystallarium. Have some coffee. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, I thought so. I don't know, you're a doctor. You look like you, you look run off coffee. Okay, I'm going to quickly grab another pumpkin and I will be right back. So the crystallarium is interesting because you basically, you put something in it, say like a ruby, um, and every, uh, and it's different for every sort of gem, but every now and again it will produce a new ruby, so that's kind of helpful. Anyway, uh, I'm going to see if I can find Caroline. Now she should probably be in here somewhere, uh, probably like um, in the kitchen. I don't know, she's normally in the kitchen, isn't she? Yeah, there she is. I can just see her. Have your pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin. It's a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Daddy. You are welcome. 500 gold is mine. Okay, so. Uh, I think this snow yam. Oh, not snow yam. I think this yam, since I've got it, I'm just going to give it to Pierre. Boop. There we go. Very kind of you. I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's a fine, fine yam, isn't it? Okay, let's quickly pop and see. Hey, Lewis. Uh, sometimes you can tell if there's something buried underground. Just keep your eyes open. Well, thanks for the tip, buddy. We're like almost three seasons into the... Well, yeah, we are almost three seasons into the game now, so I kind of knew that. Uh, I'm not... I'm guessing Vincent isn't going to be here, so if we see him, we'll just throw him another grape. That'll be fine. Um, but what am I going to do with this other pumpkin? Well, last episode, we also got a rusty key, and that is used to open up the sewer. Oh, yes. And in the sewer, we will find not a lot of stuff here, but we will find this little guy. This is Crobus. A human visitor? This is most unusual. I'm Crobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. And he will sell a, a varying amount of things. The return scepter is crazy good, but I think it's for one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two million gold. The golden handle quivers with raw potential. Hold this scepter to the sky and return home at will. Yeah, it's crazy. The crystal floor looks kind of cool. Um, you can buy a star drop from him from 20,000 gold, which is crazy. Void eggs will produce void chickens. This is something that we're going to have to get. Iridium sprinklers. Now, you can craft these, but every Friday, Krobus will sell one for 10,000 gold. And he also sells the solar essences and the void essences. And one of his favorite gifts are pumpkins. This is an amazing gift. For my people, it is an honor to receive something like this. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. So, uh, what else am I going to do today? Well, that is a good question. First of all, I'm going to see if I can track down Vincent. I'm going to guess he is in the museum. I guessed correctly. Here you go, buddy. I've already given Vincent two gifts. Well, that stinks. Why don't I check this before I do it? All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of this arrowhead here. I've got a little bit of oak resin that I want to throw in and some hazelnuts that I want to store over here. Okay, and this lightning rod is a spare one. I mean, it hasn't even started thundering yet, but whatever. I am going to check the secret woods and hope that I get lucky. Oh, actually, it's Friday. I completely forgot about the traveling merchant. So let's talk to her. Hello, rhubarb, coconut, fairy rose. Uh, these, well, these are all terrible, terrible things to buy. So no thank you. I, I think I shall pass. Anyway, let's head into the secret woods. Get a hardwood and oh yes, okay, fantastic. We finally have the chanterelle mushroom. Oh yes, let's check to see if we've got any more. But this is one of the oh we got another one up there and a red mushroom. Cool. You ask for one and you get two. Nice. And that was a silver quality. Uh, so these aren't used for anything other than well, you can make a potion with them. Um, it's called a life elixir if you have one of each mushroom. Uh, there are four in total, but the chanterelle only appears in fall, and there's another one that only appears in the secret woods in spring, and there's another chanterelle here. We've got one of each quality. Um, but it's not considered a, a recipe that you cook, it's just a crafting recipe, so we don't actually need to save these for the recipes. So uh, we do need, however, one of each to sell. So the fact that we've got 
well, three chanterelle mushrooms here is fantastic. Another thing that I was hoping to complete in, in full is going to be finished. Okay, let's chop the rest of the hardwood down. And yeah, I don't care about that slime, you can go away. Uh, and um, I've, oh, there we go. I have no idea how I'm going to do my tree tapping anymore. Like I said, the plan was to, to get it all set up in full. But I think I'm just going to have to just tap the trees that are in my farm because, well, I mean, that's that's the best place to tap trees anyway. But, like, what I'm trying to say is I think that I'm going to have to, um, like, like I say, tap them in my farm but not grow them. So I just have to trap the uh, tap the pre-existing ones, which kind of stinks because I would like a, an easier layout for them. But eh, it, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, that thing is in my way and shall ever be in my way. Okay, um, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to get a a trap bobber. Oh, yes. Um, but first of all, let me just sort out my inventory. Let's just sell all of these. Uh, like that and that. Okie dokie. Let's also... Do I even have a trap bobber? I don't. Ooh, okay, that could be bad. Um, hmm... Hmm, 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 Uh, how do we make them? Because if I can make a couple, that would be great. Um, copper bar and sap? That is so easy. You have yourself a deal, sir. Okay, and let's just make two. I don't think we're going to need any more than two. Wow, that is cheaper than I thought it would be. Okay, get rid of the sap. And let's go do some fishing. Ah, I bet you didn't expect this today, did you? So, here in the sewers, we can actually fish in the murky waters, and uh, there's a fish in here that we're going to want to catch. Now, because my luck is the worst possible luck, I, I don't think I'm going to have too much, believe it or not, luck catching this thing. Um, mainly due to its encounter rate. Yeah, I, I find it on the first fish, this isn't crazy. So, this is a legendary fish, and you can catch it anytime, any season here in the sewers. And it looks like it's quite an easy one. I still would recommend a trap bobber because it can get away. But here we have the mutant carp. We've caught a legendary fish. Okay, that was easy. Um, mission accomplished. So uh, if he comes to sewers here, you get a section up here which you can't go through because there's some kind of force field blocking your path. But if we walk down this way, we will see that we come out where Jazz and Vincent were playing here ages and ages ago and saw something which we presume to be Crobus. So this might not actually be a bad place to set up some more tree tappers temporarily in these trees. Because these trees, I think I read somewhere, will grow back in the Cindersap Forest during the winter. It's just not the other trees, which I think is a bit dumb, but whatever. Um, yeah, so like, why do these trees get to grow back, but the other ones don't? So yeah, we can potentially tap these. And then we can use trees on our farm to signify when the other tree tappers are ready. That's actually not a bad idea. I may have had a smart. I may have had a very smart. So here's the plan. I will have one of each tree near my my house during winter. And the, the tree tappers will be synced up with the tree tappers in the Cindersap Forest. And that, I like that plan. Okay, this mutant carp is going into the bin. Because we're going to get money for it. And the trap bobber can remain over here. Because we're going to need that in the future. Um, yeah, so tree tappers. <laughs> um, I guess what I could do is I could plant one of each tree here. And hope they grow in time. I mean, chances are they won't because of my luck. And I've left it way too late. Okay, so we have, we have an oak tree. And they don't need a lot of space to grow. But I am going to hoe the ground... Just so that I can know how to space them out. Uh, like so. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. Then we'll put an acorn there for oak resin. A pine cone there for uh, a pine tree. Or pine tar. And then a maple seed there for the maple trees. So once these grow, I'll put tree tappers on them. And then I'll go and put tree tappers on the trees in the forest. Um, and that way, when these ones have syrup or tar or whatever, the ones in the forest will also have them, so I'll know to go and check them. That, I think, is a genius, genius plan. Tapper here. 40 wood and 2 copper bars. Um, 
Okay, well, we can get a little bit of copper going, um, but not a whole lot. We probably need to go and get some more copper, which is fine by me. Um, what else can we do today? I don't think there's anything else really I've got planned. Like, we're still waiting for the rest of our harvest, which is going to be fantastic when it happens. I don't think we've got anything growing tomorrow. In fact, oh, we may have some cranberries, but that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, I guess what I could do is check the... Oh, that was quick. <laughs> um, I could go and check the the beach for the, uh, for the crab pots, because there's actually something... I think, we, yeah, we've got everything from the crab pots that we can... Um, from the sea, uh, it's just that I've left them there so that we can get some more, um, uh, some more lobsters for Elliot, but I don't think it's going too successfully since we kind of used, you know, well, we, one of our worm bins got destroyed, which is a little bit frustrating, but we can just make more. Um, however, there is one fish that we're still missing that we need to find and sell, uh, that's found in fresh water, and it's basically like the equivalent of the lobster but for fresh water, so we're going to have to get one of those, or at least one of those. Um, yeah, so our bait box here isn't doing too great. So let's let's pick up, excuse me, pick up the crab pots. There we go. Okay, grab those, and let's just put them in our farm. Why not? Let's grab our worm bin as well. How do I make a worm bin? Because I remember having two of them was, like, really handy. Um, hardwood, gold bar, iron bar, and fiber. They take a lot of hardwood, don't they, for, for what they give you. Like, they just give you free bait. Anyway, let's go back to the farm, I guess. So it's just gone midnight now. I think it's going to be worth putting these crab pots down. Um, I think I can fit one in this corner? No. Okay, well, let's... Okay, put one here, I suppose. And here, because I can't get to them otherwise. And the worm bin, I guess, can go there. Uh, let's bait these up. I guess I can just take one bait from, from my rod. There we go. And put that in there as well. Because we're going to need this thing to, to complete as much of the game as we can. So we may as well do it. Alright. And let's call it quits for today. And see what we get for completing the vault. Can I get to bed before 1am? Easily. There we go. I say easily, yet we're only 10 minutes early. Okay, here we go. So the Junimos for uh, for paying off the vault will com uh, repair for us the bus. Oh yes, and this opens up a whole new area to the game, which is just makes the game so much more expansive. Okay, so what do we get? Goat's cheese worth five twenty-five. The mayonnaise pretty good. Cool. Uh, however, the mushrooms here, yeah, they're pretty good as well. Uh, the fishing, so the mutant carp is only worth 1875, and that's gold quality as well. So it's not a fantastic fish to catch, but obviously it's it's worth getting. All right, cool. Let's start day 20 of fall. We are into our f well next episode. We'll be into our final week of fall, which is crazy. Fall is over already. Ah, uh, there's a joke somewhere about fall being over and falling over or something like that, but I'm I'm not dumb enough to make it. <laughs> Alright, Saturday the 20th. Let's go. Let's see what's the weather going to be doing tomorrow. It's going to rain all day. Okay. Fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased. Really? But oh, That is the, the worst luck. Literally the worst luck we could get for what I wanted to show off. But oh well. Uh, I guess we can still show off anyway. Oh, and hey, look at this. We have our first ancient fruit. And it's a gold star one. So, what can we do with this? Well... I am going to be selling it uh, because obviously we need to sell one. Oh, look at that. We've already got the thing that we need. Um, yeah, we need to sell it, but they make fantastic um, wines and jellies. So ancient fruit, definitely the way to go to make wines and jellies if you want to. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't even need to do anything with these. I'm just going to leave these here uh, because we got the thing that we need from it. And that was the, uh, the crayfish here. And I think also the snail. I don't know. I think I needed the snail. But yeah, let's uh, throw those back in there. Uh, the crayfish was the one that we were after, and we got it. So, fantastic. Nothing else for us to harvest today, which is fine. Uh, let's go sort out our animals for today. I believe we can get some goat's milk. So, let's do that. Pet all the animals first. There you go, guys. Need to remember to close our um, thingy tonight. Close, close the barn doors, because it's going to rain tomorrow. Most importantly, let's get the goat's milk. We're not going to get any large goat's milk for a long time, and we will turn those into the cheeses. 
because they will be worth more money. And let's quickly milk the cows. And I've got to find, oh well, I've got to get more like cheese presses and uh, mayonnaise makers, I believe, because we're going to need them. I also want to try and upgrade my coop as well, because our coop is uh, getting rather crowded here with just three chickens in it. Um, but obviously I do want to expand it. Okay, let's put that one in. We'll keep the silver quality one as a, pardon me, as a gift to Alex. Those guys can come out. I always forget to put my pail back in. Hey guy, why are you still here? Well, you should be outside with your friends, enjoying the freshly moon grass. <laughs> Get it? Moon? Like, mo no, shut up, Dale. All right. Uh, we got a, oh, we've got a tree starting to grow here, which is fantastic. I, I have no idea if they're going to grow in time, but I'm just going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> no, they are not. I should maybe grow some backup trees? I don't know. So, what am I going to do today? Well, I think it's time to take a ride on the bus. Uh, so the bus, we can't really do anything with just yet, because we have to wait for Pam to get here, because Pam is going to drive the bus. So let's go see if we can find her. She should come out of her trailer at 9. Um, so there is a little bit of a trick to this as well. Here she comes. Um, if you actually stand in her way, she'll get annoyed and then she'll walk past you and she'll walk even faster, like she'll run because she's late for work. Um, so this way you can get her to to the bus stop really quickly and if you wait here for her to go through, you can do it again for the next little section and then she'll she'll run to the bus stop again. Or she'll be like dot 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 dot. And yeah, I have no idea if this part actually is any quicker. I'm, I'm assuming so actually. Um, but yeah, once she gets here, we can then buy a ticket from the machine. It costs 500 gold to go here, but it is worth it. And there's a lot for us to explore. So yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever been to the desert. I've seen people like go here in videos and stuff, but first time I've ever been here. So all of these palm trees you can cut down. Um, you can also gather coconuts here and cactus fruit. And I believe the cactus fruit are a fantastic gift for Sam. Coconuts are gifts which Haley really likes, and I mean like it's on her love list. So if you haven't bothered to grow any, um, uh, if you haven't bothered to grow any, like, what am I saying? Uh, sunflowers. Then you can come here and grab some coconuts, especially when you get like one of the the best. Um, oh, there we go. One of the best um, uh, rewards or skills for foraging. Coming here and getting gifts for people is definitely the way to go for the people that like the gifts. And pretty much everything you see here plays a role. Like, uh, the oasis there plays a role, the cave, the little triangle thing, and that skeleton, they all have a job to, to play. Hey, how's it going? Blink. Ah, customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then, the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. So, uh, if we try going over here... Hello. Dot, dot, dot. We can't go past. There's a bouncer there, for some reason. What do you actually say? Please visit again soon. I get so bored out here. I'll try. So, we, she sells different seeds. So, she's got rhubarb seeds, starfruit seeds, and beet seeds. And I believe these rotate takes six days to mature we could actually plant these I've I can I can at least plant eight of them and they'll all grow in time that's cool we we actually got something here from from the uh, from the desert so the other main feature and I mean the main main feature of the desert here is the cave at the back so a lot of people know what this is However, this is the Skull Caverns. You insert the Skull Key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. So this is what we unlocked, or this is what we got from the bottom of the, uh, oh, we don't have any journal missions. This is what we got from the bottom of the, the normal mines, and the monsters in here are a lot tougher. Uh, in fact, those bugs alone that you see flying can't even be killed. They can't, they don't take damage. Uh, these purple slimes have a chance of, whoa, dropping a lot of normal slimes. Um, but they have a chance of dropping like iridium ore, and as you can see, they take a lot of. Oh, there we go. We got some iridium ore. <laughs> they take a lot of uh, hits to kill. Oh, you know, considering we've got bad luck, that wasn't bad at all. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, um, two bits of iridium ore on the first floor, that's pretty crazy. There are some enemies in here which are going to be very tough for us to defeat uh, with our current um, uh, sword and our current uh, amount of health. Bringing food into the Skull Caverns is definitely recommended and coming as early as possible is also recommended uh, because obviously the lower down you get the more uh, iridium ore veins will show up and obviously the rarer stuff will show up. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to see any Iridium Ore um, while I'm down here at all. Um, at least for the first couple of times because I'm just not high enough like level, I guess. Um, I, I got the lowest... Or I, I've, I guess I've got a good pickaxe. Oh, these, these enemies here, the serpents. Oh, they do so much damage and they just come at you from every angle possible. They're very quick. They do have a chance though of dropping a good food item called the Lucky Eel or the spicy eel, um, which increases your speed and your luck. See how much damage we're taking just from these purple slimes? Ow, they jump far as well. Just don't let them surround you, I guess. Jeez. Okay, let's just... I guess this knockback isn't a good thing. Got some coal. That's good. Just don't want to die down here. No, I'm not going to die. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. I'm not really that ready to take on the Skull Caverns, and there's no progress here either. Every day you come in here, you have to start from floor one again, which is pretty crazy. The other feature of um, the, the desert here is the fishing pond. So here there are two fish which you can catch and they're, they can be quite tough to catch. So I'm going to give it a go and see if I can't catch them right now uh, because obviously we need to sell them. Well, we don't need to sell them, we need to just catch them for our completion. As far as getting back to Stardew Valley, you can use the return scepter which we found um, from Krobus today, or yesterday technically. Um, you can use a farm totem. Oh, this guy's feisty, uh, which I think we can create now, but we never have. Um, and you can also, uh, you can just get the bus back whenever you want as well. Uh, and Pam will take you back. Okay, sandfish, that's one of the fish we can catch. I believe you can get that from uh, the traveling merchant, since it's technically a, uh, a reward for, not a reward, is required for the community center as part of the specialty fish bundle. So I think that's how I actually got sandfish whoa this guy's this guy is actually really erratic so I'm hoping this is the second fish exclusive to this pond oh, wow even with a trap bobber I'm having trouble catching this guy um, okay let's just focus here I hate it when they're at the bottom because it I can just sit here but it takes so long to get the the line back up oh no 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 I nearly had it and I just okay yeah trap bobber seems to be needed required for this there we go and there it is that is the scorpion carp so two fish two rewards so that is the desert and yes of course i'm going to be coming back here a lot because we need iridium ore okay very happy with that that was actually that wasn't too bad considering we got two iridium ore on the first floor and our spirits were very displeased i would consider that reasonably successful i'm probably not going to go back there Oh, summer spent or oh, fairy rose honey honey. I'm probably not gonna go back there until um Do I have another bee house? Wasn't I gifted a bee house? No. Must have been imagining that. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna go back there until I have a better sword. Uh, however, I do need to sell a cactus fruit, so I'll sell one. Um and I need to sell well I don't need to sell those, but I will. I wanna plant these beets by Dr. Dre. No one's ever made that joke before, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's quickly pop these in here. We're gonna have to water them as well. Technically, I should, um, I should fertilize it, but I'm not too bothered. And we can always get these from Sandy. I, I think she's always got them in stock. She doesn't have, well, maybe she does have a rotating, um, stock like Pierre's, but I don't actually know. I've never looked into it. Okay, let's get rid of the clay, the coal, the stone, that, that, that. Okay. And for gifts, we'll put in the coconut and the cactus fruit. Although, did I sell it? Yeah, I did sell a cactus fruit. That is fine. Put the diamond in here as well. Okay, we will actually get out some of our iridium, because we can smelt this bad boy. And get our first iridium bar. Ah, that was a really lame attempt at doing like a holy noise. So obviously, iridium ore takes the longest to smelt. Um, I don't actually know the time, but it just takes a long time to smelt. Leave me alone. 
Okay, let's put these in there, and we are done there. Okay, 420 on a Saturday. What to do? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, ancient fruit, they grow back every week. Um, so every seven days, they'll produce a new ancient fruit. So we're just going to have to wait for that. Um, and we should get another one, which is going to be fantastic. And we should also get a, a gift from the community center that will help us out a bunch as well. Um, I don't know what to do for the rest of the day, really. I would say I need to focus on making gold, but I'm fairly certain that we're going to get plenty of gold from um, from uh, selling all the stuff we sold today. Like the, the honey, the ancient fruit is going to sell well, um, and other stuff like that. So I think I might go into the ordinary mines and just grab some more copper. I do also need coal, but as we saw from the... Uh, from the the skull caverns we can actually get quite a bit of coal from there as well just through uh killing the the enemies that are in abundance there so that could be how we get more coal rather than doing dust sprites although actually i think i'm going to still kill some more dust sprites anyway um because if we go into the adventurers guild hey demetrius you're doing some field research if we go into the, the adventurers guild how many do we have to kill of dust sprites um it's not on that sheet. Oh, or is it? Do they count as... Oh, wait. Are they even there? Huh. They don't appear to be there. That's, uh... Oh, wait. 284 out of 500 dust sprites. It is worth killing 500 dust sprites, let me tell you. So I think that is going to be what I just work on for the time being. Since I don't have enough money to get a, uh, the lava katana... I think I'm just going to try and kill Dust Sprites. Probably going to be my best option. And since I've got the worst luck, chances are, I'm going to have a, a hard time finding them. <laughs> I would say a good time finding them, but it's going to just be a hard time getting down to floors with them, I think. Uh, I guess what I could do is just keep resetting floors, like like going in the elevator and just hitting like multiples of five, and then seeing if there's any Dust Sprites there. But... Yeah, it's a, I think it's going to be a, tr a tricky one. So, hopefully, we can find a lot of dust sprites and murder them all. So, uh, an infested area is actually a good thing here. Because uh, it means we've got lots of enemies to murder. So, this is actually not a bad idea for stuff we can do while we wait for uh, us to be able to take on the Skull Caverns. Because not only will killing lots of enemies here in the normal mines give us good rewards... Um, but we'll get some more quests complete, and we'll also level up our combat, which means we will do more damage in the Skull Caverns to the other enemies as well. So, all in all, I think that... Oh, Way Down has appeared. I think that doing some combat here is actually going to be a good thing. And I know a Way Down appeared, but, well, I'm going to see if there's any Dust Sprites, and then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I don't really need iron, so <laughs> I'm going to regret saying that, but I'm going to just skip out on the iron. Oh, there's some dust sprites over there. Let's get those. Okay. Or dust spirits. I don't know what to call them. I, I always thought they were dust sprites, but I need to be wary of my uh, my health. Let's grab some iron because I can in it anyway. And it is midnight, so we better call it quits here, I would say. Don't want to overextend ourselves. <laughs> but we did a lot of good stuff today, I feel. Um, I mean, meeting Krobus. I guess if I wanted to, I could go take Krobus another pumpkin, but... Uh, it's too late for that now. Uh, yeah, we met Krobus. We have our first bar of Iridium, which I know this is crazy, but I'm actually going to sell. <gasps> I know, right? What am I thinking? Uh, but there's Method behind the madness. We need to sell one eventually anyway, so I'm just like, let's get it out of the way with now, because we're not going to be able to, um, like, uh, get enough, like, reliably, reliably produce our own... Um, our own iridium as it is so doing that for now will be fine okay and do we have anything we can put in the preserves jar not really let's do melons um where are we one two three okay and pop them in there am i going to get to bed before one probably not we're going to have a little bit of a deficit here but i'm going to make a run for it <laughs> if our bed was still in this room then yeah we'd make it before one can i do it just look at that probably our closest call yet 
level 8 combat, we can now make a slime incubator, and we also can get explosive ammo. And let's see how much money we got today. Oh, oh, so good. We got a thousand for the Iridium bar. Got 10,000 gold today, that's great. I think tomorrow I'm going to look at upgrading the barn and potentially getting the bigger rucksack, finally. I mean, it's almost winter and I haven't got the big rucksack yet. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one for the 21st and 22nd of fall. All right, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you then. Bye. Bye again. Bye.